Uh, the Arabs really are cousins. <laughs> well, the Bnei Yishmoel are our cousins. The children of Yishmoel are our cousins. We don't know exactly today who's who because Sancheriv, the king of the king of Ashur, the king of Ashur, who uh, lived during the time of the first. Holy Temple. He was a very successful king, and he captured almost the whole world. And his way was that he kept captured a country. He would make all the people from that country go to a different country. He wouldn't kill them. He took the people from one country, put them in that country, to a people from this country, because he wanted them to forget about their homeland. They should forget about their, 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 their background. They should forget about everything. And, and become his people. So he took them away from their country. See, he mixed up all the world. So we don't know exactly the nations of today of the world, exactly who's who anymore. But certainly a lot of Bnei Yishmael are mixed into called the Arabs today. And uh, a lot of them are our cousins. Whether we like it or not, they are our cousins. Of course, I mean, some nice Arabs too. I mean, not Arabs, not bad. But uh, they are our cousins to a great extent. Mix in with them our cousin Arabs. But they're not pure Arabs anymore, B'nai Yishmuel, because Sancheriv, this king, mixed up the whole world and, and all, everybody got mixed up together. We don't know who Amalek is. We're supposed to destroy Amalek. We don't know who Amalek is today. All these, we're not allowed to marry Adam. Can't marry, uh, can't be, can't be, uh, even if they convert, they can't, but we don't know who they are. So therefore, we, we, we can't have these laws don't apply. When Sheikh comes, it's a question when he's going to, Tell us who's who or not. Some say he will, some say he won't. But right now we don't know who's who.